your ancestors have been carrying or maybe you have been involved in, in, in addictions, in certain things that you have to stop and you need to have discipline. If we are the, you know, the army of God, we have to be trained as the army. We have to have discipline. We have to be, have strategies. We need to adopt this thing. And this takes me back again to what I, what, what I was telling you, that this is why the church doesn't get involved in warfare because they don't know how to. So she talks about the big elephant in the room, which again, according to the stats, 60% of men in church, I don't know how active in church, but men that go to church look at corn. And I want to say 20% of women, though I could be wrong, look at corn at least once a week. It's a high numbers, man. And she's saying, you 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 dabbling with some stuff you shouldn't be dabbling with, okay? And she, and, uh, and she's going to elaborate. Because they don't know that there's a spiritual principles and things that we have to put into place we, if we want to advance God's kingdom. There's a lot of stuff, even for protection, right? Having a holy life, having a consecration, having this communion with the Holy Spirit brings protection. You have closed portals in your lives, and when you are entering the enemy's kingdom, he cannot do anything to you, but right? But if you are like casting out demons and you are doing this, and then you are sinning behind, and you know, mm. but I can do this. Mm. Well, it's going to happen to you the same thing that happened to the sons of Eskiva. They didn't know Jesus. They knew Paul. They didn't know Jesus. Mm. That's why knowing Jesus is, is, is the key. Having intimacy is the key to, to enter into warfare and change, change the, 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 the trajectory of a nation. You know, the, the, the private sin, and I, I don't mean to mock it, or I'm not minimizing it in any way, quite the opposite, actually, but people write into me about in my mailbag, and people, people I talk to priests, they say this is what they hear from 90% of guys in confession. It's what you just mentioned. 90% of guys. So again, Matt, uh, you know, Michael's coming from the Catholic tradition. So he's referencing to a priest here in confession. He said, go and confess their sins. It's a priest. We should be confessing our sins as Christians. We do it to each other according to James. But he's saying 90% of the stuff that priests hear is about corn. And so if you were saying that sexual immorality is mm. a big part of witchcraft and the occult and Satanism, then what does it mean that at least since the advent of the internet, and certainly since the iPhone, is everywhere, something like 90% plus of men look at it. A huge number of women look at it. I read somewhere something like 60% of women look at it, which shocked me. The age of, of exposure to it is extremely young. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't, well, I guess I do want to say that everything has a spiritual component, because nothing's merely physical, you know, it's not very spirits too. But what does it say that this key element of witchcraft is now effectively ubiquitous? Mm. That it's everywhere, that, that, that porn is just everywhere, and that this, if sexual immorality is a big part of witchcraft and the occult. Well, what, what is the rapid expansion of that set? And they talked about how sexual immorality and connected it to things like the sound of freedom and uh, SA and grape earlier in the interview. So again, you guys should really go watch this full interview, but 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 this connection specifically to corn and corn culture, and there is a corn culture, by the way, meaning that just because there's explicit content in these explicit websites, this stuff is also pervasive all over Instagram. Even, even if it's not X-rated explicit, there is a corn culture that's all over social media, right? In, in our films. So if you go, if you, if we go back to the Bible and we talk about the Jezebel spirit, the Jezebel spirit, mm. she was a witch, right? Mm -hmm. And she had, she was immoral. So she was involved in sexual immorality. So she was released that over a place. Mm -hmm. I believe that because of witchcraft, new age, the occultism is expanding too much. That brings, the, remember something, I want to say something, and it's that demons don't walk alone. Mm. The principalities, they don't walk by themselves. Mm. As I said, we were talking about authorities and ranks. They move with, with certain powers that come under them, and then they have others that come under them, right? Witchcraft, which is a new age, occultism, all, all of these practices, Satanism, all of these things bring sexual immorality. Huh. So now, because of the occultism is rapidly expanding in our nations, we see the sexual immorality also being released upon our nations. So this is why, like, when you go to a place, and you see like there's a lot of sexual immorality and prostitution, you know, there's some sort of witchcraft here too. Mm. Mm. You go to a place, you see people being trafficked, there's probably witchcraft there. That's the, that's the sign of it, mm -hmm. or one of the big signs of it. Mm. So then what does one do? Do we just ban? That's what I would do, I mean, but I, I don't know that we can. I believe like there's a strong man for a reason. Um, this is why, coming back again, I see the church fighting in the spiritual realm, punching the air, not knowing what they are punting. Yeah. I see that. I see like people like just, but you, who are you fighting against? Mm. Are you, who are you coming against? We need to have understanding that there are strongmen and there are minions. Mm. If you bind the minions and you remove the minions, the strongman is still there because there is a legal right. So the portal is still open for these minions to come back again or mm. other ones to come back again and leave. And so this is why we as the head of Christ, we need to actually see, okay, what is the strongman moving in here? We just don't buy porn. That's a minion. That's just like the, the consequence of something bigger. So mm, we don't. That's the, that's the symptom. That's just a symptom. 
to something deeper. There's a deeper issue at the root, and we're just dealing with the symptom. She's making an argument that it's the Jezebel spirit. We don't buy the porn. We don't buy the addiction. What is actually the big thing that's moving in that in that in that area? Okay, it could be maybe like as I said, witchcraft. It could be like control and manipulation, and that's been released. It's not just porn. So it's actually understanding what are we binding, and this goes also to a personal level, right? Let's say that someone is dealing with addictions. The person is dealing with a lot of addictions, porn, maybe drug drug addictions, mm-hmm. alcoholism. The mm-hmm. person just doesn't bind that. But actually, what if? The strong man in that person's life is actually rejection. It's actually maybe a traumatic experience mm. that that person had when they were young that opened up the portal to addiction. So- I'm not sure how many of you guys know my story, but I've, I've shared it a couple of times. You guys, if you guys really want the, the detailed version, you can could, you could see it. I shared it on uh, Tim Ross's podcast about a year ago. I shared it a couple of times. But as a child, I, I, was, I was essayed. I was about seven or eight. And the, and the crazy part is that I was my son's age now. And there were some older teenage boys in the neighborhood that saved me. And what she is describing was, is literally what happened to me. It opened up an addiction and it opened up, the, the traumatic event opened up something in me that followed me for decades. It followed me for decades. And it takes so much deliberate focus to be tapped in to the consecration and the sanctification process. And if you have that, that, that sort of stuff in your childhood, you got to deal with it. You got to deal with it. Got to deal with it. In the spiritual, going up, letting the elders pray for you, deliverance, ministry time, whatever you want to call it. Got to deal with it in the spiritual, but you also got to deal with it in the physical. Got to deal with the mental illness, the mental health aspect of it. I, ha- I went to therapy. I still I still have a therapist I see probably once every other month. His name is Dr. Rudy. We actually put together a course called MasterMyHabits.com, completely free course to help people with the freedom-forming habits aspect of this. So the mental, the spiritual, and, and the physical. And the physical, one of the best things I did, not to keep harping on this point, is I got my body in check. I started waking up earlier, which forced me to go to bed earlier, which kept me off of looking at crazy things in the middle of the night because I was up till one or two in the morning working on music. And all of these things work together to, to help me move towards freedom and breakthrough in all aspects, the spiritual, the mental, and the physical. And it's and it, and it requires work, but 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 God is good. The spirit is good. And 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 you know, uh, I, I wish that I didn't have to wrestle with it for decades, if I'm being honest with you. But there's something to having gone through that sort of stuff, that 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 those scars that I have, God has repeatedly used those scars and that aspect of my testimony to help other people know that, one, they're not alone, and two, that freedom is available. Freedom is available. You don't have to walk this. You don't got to walk into heaven with a limp. Like you can walk in freedom. You can walk in freedom. Like freedom is available, right? It's, it, but, but sanctification is a process. Being sanctified and being conformed more and more to who Jesus is, is a process. So when you go right there to help the person to be set free from the trauma, you are helping that person to be set free from the addictions and all, all mm-hmm. of these things. Right. So it's actually going to the root. Like we yes. are like trees. And I see a lot of people cutting the bad fruit of the tree instead of healing the root. When I was in youth group, I first got saved. We would talk about corn, but we never talked about the root. We would talk about the consequences of whatever things we're dealing with. We never talked about the root of why we were this way. It's important that we come back. What is the root of the issue? What is the root of the tree? So we start to bring healing to the body of Christ, actually to the rope and not just the leaves and cutting. I'm thinking that I'm just going to cut this and hope that it's not going to grow up again. It's going to grow up again because the, the, the root is ill. Right. So I believe that that's part of one of the strategies that the Lord has given me to help people and to pray for nations is actually, what is the root? Because sometimes people think they can just go back in time. They say, if only we went back to the 1990s, we'd all be happy. Mm-hmm. Or if we went back to the 1950s, things would be better. But, but I think, well, hold on. First of all, you can't go back in time. Mm-hmm. But second of all, even if you could go back in time, if you just r- rewind the, the tape, how is it not going to play out exactly as it already did? You know, right. aren't, aren't the seeds of the present destruction that we're seeing, weren't they sown way back then? Weren't they yeah. sown even, even probably before that? No, absolutely. So you mentioned, okay. Th- this stuff has always been here, man. It's just the technology, which can be used for great good, can also be used for evil. So, so it's always been here. Corn culture has always been here. It's, it's more challenging now, but it's always been here. What's, what's at the heart here? Well, at the heart of, look, if porn is just one symptom or one expression of this problem, well, it's an expression of uh, the notion that we can do whatever we want. This notion of maximal individual autonomy, mm-hmm. self-sovereignty. Mm-hmm. That's a much deeper, bigger, stronger man kind of a problem oh, yeah. than just uh, looking, you know, getting your jollies off on some internet video. Right. Uh, the, the problem of people who are in the porn industry, every single, every single woman who's ever been involved in porn 
has an issue with her father, right? Mm-hmm. And so you, I mean, you just interview after interview, mm-hmm. uh, testimony after testimony. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's no, uh, it's 100% of the time. Well, that would be a, a root problem. And so if you only prune away at the leaves, well, the, and the root is still there, it's just going to continue to grow. So then th- there are these deeper problems. And obviously, ultimately, we can trace this all the way back to the Garden of Eden. Mm. But it does seem that politically, there are some, some things that, that we could do that are practical and and that we could take immediately. You mentioned strong man. Mm. And now today, if you ever oppose this liberalism, this decadence, this uh, sin and debauchery, you're called an authoritarian. Mm. Well, it's very, you want to get rid of porn, you're an authoritarian. You, wanna, mm-hmm. you want to suggest that Christianity is a better basis for culture than, I don't know, pride parades. Uh, you're an authoritarian. They've said this about uh, Viktor Orban in Hungary. They've said he's an authority. This guy's been popularly elected many times. And, but he said, no, our, our country is going to be a Christian country. We're not going to force you to go to church. We're not going to force you to worship anyway, but the, con- the, the country is going to be oriented toward God. And for this, every country around the West is at this guy's throat. They want to attack mm-hmm. him. But that seems like a, a practical thing that one could do in politics. 100%. <laughs> and this is coming back again. It is about the authority. The person that is there is like in the spirit and has kind of like given the keys of that nation. So whatever you speak over that nation is going to be released because you have authority, the same thing that the parents have authority over the children, right? We are the head of our children. So when we speak those things over their life, it's released in the spiritual atmosphere and it manifests. The same thing happened to the nation. So what it would be a good way of actually changing a nation, apart from the spiritual mat- matters, is actually establish, establishing someone in power that has the heart of God that are going to actually release those things over the nation and say like a strong man, you are not going to rule in this nation. Mm. This is who is going to rule this nation, and, and it's Jesus. Interesting. Good stuff. Good stuff. Shout out to uh, Julie Lopez. We see, according to the Bible, that prayer is extremely important in terms of us being transformed from the inside out when we get aligned with God's will. For the Christians watching this channel, I want you guys to implement these spiritual disciplines in your day-to-day life. And the only way I've been able to do this consistently is through writing down my prayers in a prayer journal that does a few things. One, it allows me to reflect and come to God humbly and ask him to move on my behalf. And two, it allows me to document my prayers, which ultimately helped me remember the very things that I was praying for and see the hand of God tangibly in my life when he answers them. So I would urge you, consider writing down your prayers. It could be in a blank notebook. It could even be on your phone. Or you could check out the one I personally designed and used from my own quiet time and spiritual discipline that I think would be a huge blessing. It's the exact structure and system that I've used for years to pray and be more consistent in my spiritual disciplines. You can pick yours up today by clicking the link in the pinned comment below. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.